Welcome everyone. So today we have a video about the optimization of the derelict, I think that's how you pronounce it, corridor environment, which was just released by Unreal Engine uh, Megascans. So you can get this for free on the Fab site and you can just download it. And in on the surface, it looks great. Like this is just a beautiful environment. I probably couldn't do this right now. Uh, but after taking a closer look at it, I just found a few issues uh, with optimization that I just want to show you. First of all, I would just like to show that right now this project on my machine, I have a pretty powerful machine, but it's running on 60 frames a second, right? So this is hitting the target frame rate without any issues. I can just fly through this environment pretty smoothly. Also, size-wise, if we just open this in the Explorer, the entire uh, project, like just the content folder, is just under seven gigabytes in size, which is, for a sample of this quality, totally acceptable. But this can be optimized a lot further. So there are a few steps I like to take when trying to get project size and just in general uh, waste of resources to be as low as possible. Now the first thing I can recommend you to do is get a plugin called Project Cleaner. This is for free on the Fab Marketplace. So just install it and then enable it here and restart. And there is a second plugin I would recommend you. Uh, this one is paid but it's also a very powerful plugin, it's Texture Resizer. So what this plugin does, if I have a texture, so if you have any texture in Unreal, you have over here the maximum size. In this case, it's very low, right? In this case, we have a 512 by 512 texture. And you can see there are two stats here, there's imported and displayed. Now, with some larger textures, there are sometimes textures that are like 8K, what you can do is if the texture is 8K, but you don't need it to be 8K because it's just a small prop, what you can do in here is you can specify a maximum texture size where you can just put in a smaller number. The issue with that is that this doesn't change the size on disk. Now for a packaged game, this doesn't really matter because it's gonna only package at the maximum texture size that you specify in here, but it does matter during development because having these large textures will not just slow down your entire project, but it will also make everything like version control and just like in the case of this where it's on the marketplace, it will make the download slower, it will have the project be at an unnecessary size. So I can recommend you to buy this plugin, which is called Texture Resize. So what this plugin allows you to do, if you have any texture, you can just select it, go to the scripted asset actions, and you can just resize it to a given size. And this will actually affect the file on disk. So it's a permanent resize. And this is just super helpful. If you just have a project with way too big files that don't have to be that big, you can just size them down, it will make everything faster for everyone. So after getting those two plugins, the first thing I will just do is I will uh, click that little open project cleaner main window button over here. Now, what you can do here is it will, first of all, it will tell you if you if you press the scan project button, it will scan the project and it will tell you all the things in your project that are currently not in use. So in this project, again, it's pretty well optimized. There is only 255 megabytes in assets that are not used. Be careful if this is like a, a project you're working on. I wouldn't just delete everything because sometimes you can still need some of these materials, even though you're currently not using them. But in this case, since this is an asset pack I got from the marketplace and I don't really plan on working on this anymore, I can just uh, click this clean project button and it will get rid of all the assets that are currently not in use. And this has already saved me 250 megabytes in size. And those 250 megabytes in size, they would have been packaged in the game because Unreal doesn't by default exclude these files that are not packaged. Now, the next thing I will now do is I will actually go in the size map for the entire asset folder here. So you can just right click this and you can go to size map. There are two size map types. There is disk size and there's memory size. A memory size map will just tell you how much space that object will take up in your memory. And the disk size will tell you how much it takes on disk. Now, there is a very, very 
big apparent thing you can realize over here. There are these green big four different acids that are all over 100 megabytes. And if you just look at the names of them, they're combined pebbles of three. So when I saw this, I just opened them up to see what they are. So you can just click on it, right click, browse your asset, and it will bring up the asset. And if you open that asset, you will realize that there is nothing there. At least it just seems like there is nothing there. So I, it took me a while to figure this out because this is just empty. So I went to the scene and I and I just selected my static machine and I went to asset actions and just select actors using this asset. And that gave me a, a hint. So you can see that there's suddenly something selected. And what you can see is there are these little pebbles here on the ground lying here everywhere. And all these little pebbles are part of this combined big static mesh. Now, what's really funny about this, if you just if you just go to the wireframe mode, you can see that each of one of these pebbles is incredibly dense. And it really doesn't have to be. I know that we have nanite, and I know that the engine clearly can handle this, but this is just a complete waste of resources. Also, this is 400 megabytes in size, and once you package the game, it will still be. So it's just a complete waste of time for such a small, tiny thing that could well be just a few vertices each. And it's not just one we have. In fact, we have five of these. And combined, these are 1.4 gigabytes in size. So just these small, tiny pebbles, they make up 1.4 gigabytes of the project size. And if you remember, the entire project is only like 6 gigs. So you could have, you could have easily saved one-fifth of the project size just by reducing the size of these pebbles. So I'm just going to show you how you can actually do that. If you select a pebble so right here in the scene, you can go to the modeling mode. And what can you do in here is you have a very handy tool under the mesh tab and it's called simplify. So just click that and don't worry, it's going to take some time. You have assets here that are just very, very large in size. What you can see here is you have a target mode of percentage and you can set the target percentage to just five for now. And this will now take a while. What it will do, you can see that it's kind of loading. And after quite some time, it's going to finish processing and then we will get the improved version of this. So as you can see, it has finished loading. If I zoom in, you can see that this is a lot less resolution now, and it really doesn't make a difference. You can really not tell this at all. Trust me, at this size, this is just a pure waste of resources. It's still quite high poly, actually. And we can just press accept here, and it's going to think about it for a minute. And there we go. Now, if we save this using Shift Control S, and now you can see that our size has gone from 300 megabytes to only 11, which is still quite large for this. We could even reduce the size of this further, actually, but I think it's it's fine for now. You could do the same for all the other pebbles right here and just save an additional gigabyte. One more thing I will actually do is I will look if the textures in this project are well optimized. Now, the way I do that is I go to the content browser and then if you go to the filters, you can just go to texture, right? Check texture. Then you get a new button texture here and you can press that. Now you get all the textures in game. Now to see quickly how big they are in size, because that's a big factor of how well they run. And it's one that is easy to change. You can change the view type to columns and then you just get this long list. And over here on dimensions, you can click twice, and you will find a long, long list of all the assets. And in this case, it's pretty well done. We only have one 8K texture, and we can just check what that is. But I think that that's something that actually makes sense to be 8K, right? This seems to be some kind of floor texture that's tiled up very, very high. And we can actually see what this is in size. If we just look here, right, in size, this one floor is also 162 megabytes. So we could actually scale this down. Now, to find out what this thing is being used for, what you can do is you can right click it and you can go to the reference viewer. So 
this is this little handy window right here. And it tells me that this is being used by two different materials. It's being used by floor, concrete, dirty, and M underscore water. So in this case, as this just seems to be some sort of water texture and then some sort of floor texture, I think it's actually okay for us to try sizing this down. So to see if this has any major effect for us, I will first open the asset and change the maximum display type, which you can you can do over here. And I will just set this to for now 124, 1K. And then we'll save again. And I will just see if this gives me a significantly worse look on any of the floor materials, since this is a floor material. But I can actually not see any difference. I will put this to 2K and see if there is a difference here and save again. Again, no real noticeable difference. If we note that the asset is right now 120, 160, I think, megabytes, but I think in this case it's fine if we size it down to 2K. So I will uh, select the assets again and then I will use the plugin I mentioned, which is Texture Resize SZ, and you can just resize it to the 2K resolution, just save again, and you can see that it has gone from 100 megabytes to just 800 kilobytes, which is just a great improvement. So then we have a few other different texture maps that are just very, very high, like this one is 4K. And just to show you, if I were to actually resize this to 2K instead of 4K, you can see that it goes from tw uh, 23 megabytes to one megabyte, right? Which is quite a big improvement. And I don't really see a noticeable difference here. Most of these are just a few megabytes. But then again, we do have some big ones like this one, which is 37 megabytes. And I don't really think it has to be, it's just a rock. And you can also probably just size this down to size this down to 2K, save a lot of space, and you're probably not going to notice. Now, one more thing you can do is you can go again into your size map and check if there are any other assets here that are just way too big that shouldn't just be that big. Again, we have our different piles that we've already covered that are just way too big. Here is another one which is just unreasonably large. Like this, it's just a small rubble pile. But if we just go into the wireframe mode, you can see this is just way too, way too dense. Again, Nanite can totally handle this, but that's not a reason that it should. I think Nanite is being totally ab abused for game development. Just go look at this. So you can just drag this in the level. Look how small it is even. And you could go to the modeling mode and just scale this down by a ton. So I will just put this, for example, on just 30% for now, and we'll just see how it looks on that. And you can see that this is still, even at 30%, just incredibly dense. I think I, I will put this to 15. So it's still really high resolution, but I'll just accept this for now and just save again. Now you can see the asset has gone from 300 megabytes to just two megabytes in size. It's way, way smaller. It doesn't have to be that big, please make sure that your assets aren't unreasonably huge. Again, we just have so many more of these that are just way too big. And this is just way too, way too dense. Like this is all right, but it's, if you think of the asset being a hundred megabytes in size, it's just way, way too much. The textures in the game, they are very, really well optimized. You can see that they're not that many giant textures here, but just the, the, like the the meshes themselves are just incredibly huge. So this was just my very quick heads up on checking the size of your assets, even if you have Nanite. I know that the engine can handle it, but don't just throw uh, at the engine whatever you have. Don't use 8K textures when not necessary. And you're going to quickly realize that all your Unreal projects don't have to be 50 gigabytes.